Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Black Clover episodes 56, 57, and 58. Yeah, the reason that 54 and 55 were single episodes is that was because that was before I started doing the multi-episode videos. So this episode, so this, uh, these three videos involve the Forest of Witches. Well, technically the first episode is showing a backstory of how Noel and the others ended up meeting Fonzel, I think his name was Fonzel Kruger. And, um, apparently he was first, um, shoot, I had a word for it and I lost it. Misunderstood as a creep because he showed up while Noel was on the ground and asked if he could see something if she thought he was a creep and ran into the guild. And, uh, everybody obviously beat him up and tied him up. And this was around the time that I guess Asta first joined the Black Bulls. And, uh, we find out that he wanted to see Noel Noelle's wand thingy that she always carries around. Because it looks similar to one that his wife had. Or his fiance, whatever you want to call her. And obviously he's still looking for her and those other people are still looking for him because, uh... Uh, oh, and the reason she freaked out, I think, is because he was either naked or partially naked. I'm not sure. But, yeah, the enemy shows up, and his former apprentice is still with them, but not for long. Because the captain leaves to go and find a bit of a hostage to use against them, and by this point, Noel has put a a water barrier around the guild hall and all the magic attacks are going are being deflected essentially and the others end up jumping out and well all hell breaks loose we all know that these guys aren't gonna make it past any of them especially when Yami pops out wanting to join in on the action and uh, we find out that uh, shoot <sighs> Noel, Asta, I think, Fonzel, and Fenrel had gone to the black market, and that lady who was talking to Noel in that episode that they showed the black market, that is his fiance. I never would have thought. And they went to warn her what was going on, because more than likely they would use her as a hostage. And she's obviously been happily reunited with him and well the enemy shows up and we find out that the reason that she found out before they did is because his former apprentice went and warned her so she has turned code against them and well actually she's uh, finally got her courage up and left them because you know like I said before she was being blackmailed into working with them in exchange for you know her own life well the bad guy shows up and Fonzel and Asta easily take him out. And now the two are on, are in hiding, essentially, from the Diamond Kingdom. Actually, the three of them, because she is two. So that's why they went to go and see the three of them, because we actually find out that uh, his fiance was a former resident of the Forest of Witches. And question... How do the people there reproduce? Because it appears to be all women. The queen of the witches has, apparently has many daughters. How does How is that even possible? It doesn't appear that they can any different from any other person. So it appears they can't do anything, you know, asexually. But what, does she have a private harem of men that she keeps for this? I don't know. Can somebody explain it to me, please? But yeah, that's where Vanessa went. And they realize that's where she went. And they have to go and find her, bring her back, and try and get Asta's arms fixed. Oh yeah, speaking of Asta, they go and grab him. Not telling him where they're going, obviously, because he will object to this. And when they get there, 
they explain that the reason that they haven't gone into the forest yet is because the queen has has a spell around the whole forest to where if any it detects any magic, it'll go off. So Asta would be the only one who could go through without being detected. But sooner or later, they would find him. So they use some magic cloths that his fiance made to go undetected through all this. And the girls get through just fine. The guys, however, not so much. They start out fine. Uh, but then I think a branch catches the cloth and uh, finds us clothes. And now he's naked. And now they are visible for everybody to see. And um, obviously the detector things pick up on them and start chasing them. And they actually manage to get to where the queen is. And before this, Vanessa was trying to talk with her and get her to teach her how to break curses. Because that's what she's there for, is try and fix Asa's arms. And that's the only way to fix them is by getting rid of the curse. Or not really the only way to fix them, but it's part of the way to fix them. Because their arms are still broken. And uh, when they get there, they actually crash through the, they crash through the wall. And uh, Vanessa is unconscious. And they end up actually... Noelle actually talks to her because, you know, royal to royal. And inwardly she's freaking out at all this. But she actually gets her to agree to fix Asta's arms. But only because at that point, after Vanessa ended up revealing that what she had planned was to get her to fix, her, get her to fix his arms, then use his anti-magic and get the heck out of there. And I think this piques the queen's interest because, you know, anti-magic is something that is, I guess, never heard of before. If ever. And, uh, like I said, she agrees to fix his arms, and she actually does. Because, at that point, the Eye of the Midnight Sun shows up looking for the stone that's there. And the Diamond Kingdom shows up. Apparently, they're not too afraid to show up. Because, apparently... All the kingdoms sto steered clear of that forest because the queen was apparently very strong. No. The Diamond Kingdom decides this is as good a time as any to sneak in and grab the queen. So now... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. The... Oh, shoot, what was her name? The, ha the girl who essentially hates everybody for what they did to Licht... The one with all the spirit, spirit magic. She's leading this whole group. So, uh, yeah. Now they gotta start fighting the enemy. <sighs> after what's gonna happen after this whole thing is taken care of, because I'm sure it's not gonna take too many episodes before they stop uh, the Eye of the Midnight Sun and the Diamond Kingdom. And guess who's leading the Diamond Kingdom? Mars! So he's still alive, and Asta's apparently happy about that, because I'm guessing maybe he wants to be friends with them or something at some point. I don't know. Anyway, uh, what do you guys think of these ep- What do you guys think of the video change so far? Do you guys like that I'm doing multiple episodes? If you do, you know, like the video, obviously. If you don't, don't like- If you don't like the vi- Don't like this idea, dislike it and explain why. Because, you know, I could use feedback. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.